Hello, fourth graders. We are going to make a new math notebook page. Today it is rounding. We'll be on page four. If you need to pause this video, go for it and resume it when you're ready. So page four is rounding. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a little roller coaster. Okay, I think all of you have probably seen this model. But on our roller coaster, we're going to draw little train cars. And we're going to number them. So there's one, two, three, and four. On the very top of my roller coaster, I'm going to draw another cart, and I'm going to number that five. Now going down the back end of my roller coaster, I'm going to draw the rest of the numbers on cars. So this one right here is six. The next one is seven. The next one is eight. And the last one is nine. Okay, so as we're rounding, I want you to think about the visual of this roller coaster. So if I were on this roller coaster and I stopped right here at the four, I would go back this way, right? If I were at the five or the six or the seven or the eight or the nine, I would roll this way. So I want you to think of this line as your number line. Okay, so if it's a four or less, it would go this direction on your number line. If it's a five or more, it goes this direction on the number line. Now, there's a couple of things that are a little bit confusing. We call this, this side right here, rounding down. But really, it's not rounding down. This number stays the same. We call this side rounding up. And this side, my paper is a little curly here. This side, the number doesn't stay the same. It goes up one. So the number goes up one. So here are the steps for rounding. So step one, step one, you're going to underline the number that the directions say to round. Underline the number. Again, if you need to pause this video and catch up, hit play again when you're ready. Cool. Step two, you're going to look at the number that is on the right, on the right of the underlined number. Okay. 
Okay, step two, look at the number on the right. Step three, you're going to look to see where on that roller coaster this number would be. So step three is find it on the roller coaster. Find that number on the roller coaster. Okay, again, if it's one, two, three, four, it's going to be on this side of the roller coaster. If it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, it will be on this side of the roller coaster. Okay, step four, final step. Everything else that either doesn't either stay the same or go up one turns into a zero. It becomes round, okay? So all numbers to the right of the underlined number. they turn into a zero. And that, or that is your rounding roller coaster and the four steps to rounding a number.